Hey guys, this is Brian from Make XYZ. I just wanted to run you through the process of your prints and show you what's involved in getting all of those set up. Uh, I'm running without a script here, so if you'll just bear with me, I'd appreciate it. Here we have my two M2s. This is a dual extrusion version. As you can see there's two nozzles there. This is an original machine that I've upgraded over the years. Uh, and I have a second machine from Maker Gear. This is also an M2 with the older style, it's hard to see, V3 hot end. This is what's currently shipping on the Maker Gears right now. Uh, this machine will be printing the ABS parts. This is red ABS. I'll probably have to get more. Uh, the dual extrusion machine will be printing in Tallman Bridge, which is a nylon. I just want to go over some of the parts I'm going to be using. This panovice is to hold the spool of Tallman Bridge because the hole in the middle is too small to fit over the spool holders. I also have a sheet of cork, which I just use as an insulator on the bed to help it warm up faster. Uh, I have a paper towel inside of a binder clip, which I pass the filament through. Maybe I'll see the hole. Or maybe not. Uh, Three-in-one lubricating oil for the different rails on the machine. I have cleaner filament from eSun, which is used to purge old material. I have an acid brush, which is used to apply the lubricant. I have a set of lineman pliers a set of flush cutters. I have a borosilicate bed which has been treated with Kapton tape. I have a thin sheet of fiberglass FR4 or G10 which I'm going to be printing the nylon on. I hold the beds down with standard office binder clips so nothing terribly special there. Uh, both of my M2's are equipped with the Vicky control panel which is my preferred method of starting and running the prints. Uh, they use micro SD cards. And I will go over later about loading the print files onto those cards and starting them on the printer. So the first thing I'm going to do is purge out the old material that's in this printer. There's a little bead of material melting out of the hot end right now. That is some bronze filament. So this printer is already at temperature, it's at 210 Celsius, so I'm going to hit the button on the Vicky, scroll to prepare, move axis by one millimeter, the first extruder. Now that the extruder is set up, I place some of the cleaner filament in the filament guide hole at the top. go back into that menu because I took too long. This is really hard to do with one hand. So now that I've gotten the filament loaded, which took two hands, now I am slowly advancing it through, and at some point it will begin to, there we go, it will purge the old material out. And then when that's done, I can just reverse the filament out. And you can see here, there's the old material and then the cleaner filament. And at that point, this machine is ready to load the plastic. Now, here's a case on the V3 extruder where I use the lineman's pliers. So I just did the purge on it, and there's this little clump of plastic which is stuck to the nozzle. It's still kind of hard to see. So you just gently peel it off with the pliers. Uh, it stays pretty pliable for a bit. This is all of the other purge material that came out. Alright, what I'm doing now is preparing the Kapton covered bed for the ABS print. So what I have is a high density polyethylene bottle with uh, acetone and dissolved scraps of clear ABS filament in it. 
and it produces this kind of milky slurry, which I just pour onto the bed and wipe around until it dries. As it dries, it will leave behind a thin film of ABS, which is stuck to the Kapton, and the ABS print itself will adhere to that. If I didn't use clear ABS, it would leave a color behind on the underside of the print, but by doing it with the clear, it should remain uh, mostly the color of the original plastic. I'm going to put the glass onto the bed and fasten it down with the clips. So here's the old bed. I've removed the clips. The old borosilicate sheet lifts off. The new bed just installs into place and you hold it with one clip in the front and two clips in the rear. And then you take off the top of the binder clip so it doesn't catch on the underside of the printer. So on the underside there are these little bolts and they, in some cases, can catch the top and cause the print to fail. Now at that point, when the bed is installed, I go to my Vicky control panel. I say prepare, preheat ABS, and it will set it to 240 Celsius, 100 on the bed, and then I just wait. In order to speed that up, I will use the sheet of cork that I have, and just lay that on top of the print bed. That'll just help insulate it and make it get up to temp a little quicker. So here I've got the spool of Tallman plastic mounted onto the pan of ice. All I did was just slide it over the bar. I'm going to take that, slide it up through this filament guide here, pull some out, fell off the spool. Still really hard to do one-handed. I'll fix that later. Pull more through. And then I have the clear PTFE tubes, which are used for guiding the filament. And I will feed the nylon into the tube. Now I have filament coming out of the tube, load that into the same filament hole on the top, on the left extruder in my case, and then I go to the Vicky, prepare, move axis, one millimeter, in, and I have primed filament coming out the bottom. So this machine is ready to print from the nozzle, and all that's left now is adding the fiberglass bed surface. So to add the fiberglass surface, what I'm going to do is remove the three binder clips that hold down the glass. I'm going to keep the glass because I want the extra flatness there and add this sheet of fiberglass that I cut the other day. And I'm going to add the binder clips back on. And take off the top clip from each one. And as this is a new sheet of fiberglass, I'm going to sand it slightly with some 500 grit sandpaper just to get a little, little bit of friction for the nylon to stick to when it comes out. What I have here is Repetier Host. It is used for loading STL files, positioning them on a virtual printer bed, and then running them through the G-code parser. 
uh, for the files that are actually what the printer uses. So I've already downloaded the pin block. I'm going to go to my downloads folder, open the pin block STL, and there it shows up in the bed. So right now the scale is off, so I'm going to scale it by 25.4 because it looks like it was produced in inches. I have to rotate it in place, so I'm going to spin it so it takes up a better spot on the bed and then flip it around the y-axis so now I have the pin sticking up, I have the holes in the underside of the bed and it's centered and ready to print. So I go over to the slicer tab I choose my highest quality which is 0.1 I go to 175 ABS because that's the plastic I use I hit slice Okay, this just finished slicing. It took, I don't know, two or three minutes. Uh, it's got an estimated print time of eight hours and we will use 67 meters of filament. So there it's showing me the actual sliced G-code. Uh, if I zoom in, I can see the print moves. That's why they're line shapes like that. You can see the print on the top, so it's going make that kind of U-shape to close off the hole. And from there, I go to the editor, save, I go to my uh, SD card save it as pin block wait for it to finish writing alright now my SD card is unmounted I've got the SD card reinstalled into the Viki. It's in the front there. I'm going to remove the cork sheet because I am at temperature, 100 degrees and 240. Go to the menu, go to print from SD. Make an XYZ folder. Pin block. It's going to hit the same temperatures, which is what my preheating is set to. So it's waiting two or three seconds to verify that it's at temp. Now it's going to get started. So it homes all the axes. Brings the bed up to the nozzle. Now it's waiting for the temperature to be completely stabilized. And there goes the first layer. I'm about to start the print with nylon. This is on the dual extrusion M2. I've got the SD card loaded. It was the exact same slicing procedure as before. So I go to print from SD, make XYZ, and block. This one's a little bit different because I have this additional sheet on top of the print bed. So that changes where home is. So what I'm going to do is let it get started and then I'm going to manually adjust the Z height by turning the knob on top in order to get a good first layer down. So as this is printing, I'm going to be looking at the extrusion coming out and making sure that it's sticking to the fiberglass exactly where I need it. Now it's starting to go. And then manually adjust the Z height until I have a good amount of smash. But it's looking pretty good right now. So I'm just going to let this go and see what it looks like after a couple hours. After just a few minutes, we already have the first couple layers of this part done. Uh, it's still got quite a ways to go. But it's looking good so far. <laughs> 